I flew all the way to California just for this. I'm about to blow your mind. Brand new concept Vision 111. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Because we've got an electric, we've got this amazing digital screen and it's like properly thick pixels. And that's because it pays homage to the older versions, the 60s and the 70s of that like big pixel related images. Our lights, beautiful Mercedes badge right over here. And then these, check this out. They actually pop up and their cameras. So they're your side mirrors and the camera pops up here. Our amazing wheels with like our orange design here. So the side skirts are purposefully made in like this contrast in color to give that major contrast between like the smooth aesthetic of the outside to like the beautiful like technical contrast of the, the side skirt. Vision 111 going around the side. Let's check out the back. We've got our pixelated display at the back. And there we go. Now this is like almost acting as headlights. So your indicator would be here, flashing if you needed to turn, brake lights. This is almost where the battery power would be. It'll tell you what the percentage is, but now I've got 111 percent because of course paying homage to the C111. And look at this rear diffuser, just absolutely massive and making like this massive <laughs> statement. And this section from this side all the way to this back comes up and it's just, and that's because this car's got two modes. It's got autonomous mode. The seat goes fully back and you can rest and chill. But look at this, the position of this, your knees are actually higher than your booty. And that's because it's got racing mode as well. So you're literally sitting in the car like a Formula One driver, knees up, seat in, it's so cool. The coolest thing is the five point harness has this awesome Mercedes star in and it's like really heavy, quite chunky. Okay. One, two, three. And then another thing about the seat, I don't know if you guys can see. So this lever here, you're supposed to be able to lift it up and you can actually move your seat forward and back. And uh, got my little racing shoes ready to race. <laughs> Oh, we've got another pixelated screen running all the way across here. It's like super thin and sleek. And once again, paying homage to the fact that the older models were in the 60s and the 70s. You'd have your driving speed here and you'd have everything else that you need. But look at this. It's just, it's absolutely floating. You can put your hand right at the back here. So this is obviously the infotainment system on this side. And then we've got our different drive modes. So right now I've got it in park. <laughs> Not racing right now. I don't know if you guys can see how smooth this is. It's like ridiculous. It's like silk. So I how I feel like I'm driving. Check this out. What? This is crazy can see that this whole panel here there's no windows to the car so what they've done is they've created this pattern design that when you're on the outside it almost looks like the car's moving even though it's static but it gives you as a passenger inside it looks like there's a window even though there isn't a window and the reason for that is they wanted the whole outside to be like the seamless shape going into one car and they didn't want to break it in any way so we're all one window, but they wanted to add as much light as possible. So our Vision 111 is the reimagined version of the C111s. And this right here is one of the originals. Okay. Check this out. Ready? V8 engine, you ready? Okay, check out the front. You ready for it? <laughs> Pop-up headlights. How cool is that? Okay, wait, I just found the hidden treasure. Can you see this? Cassette player. It's got an old school radio. Proper analog. Let's go. 
was freaking epic. So you see it's low and we simplified it with just one bow and this fantastic wheel arches here. So okay. that's a theme of the car and I think iconic design is very simple to understand that every child can draw it. Oh, I love that every child can draw it. Let's get on to the coolest features because you know we love that on Supercar Blondie. Favorite feature outside the car? The gull wings. The gull wings? Yeah. I love them. They're just sexy. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so sublime. Just getting out of them just like yeah. makes a statement. Okay, yeah. coolest thing inside the car? Low pixel digital. It's almost like 80s, like the beginning of video gaming. Yes. And then you've seen we added that virtual reality experience with the goggles with it and created some three-dimensional um, zero-layer experience. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>